Have you ever wished that there was an easy way to take notes on and remember the podcasts that you listen to? Well, today I'm excited to share with you my favorite podcast app, Air. And as the outline shows, we're gonna be covering how it is with its podcast interface, capturing quotes, discovering new podcasts, Readwise integration, and who should use it. So feel free to jump around to whatever sections interest you most, save you some time. But I wanna give you the upfront conclusion that this is the best podcast app for anyone that's looking to actually remember and store long-term the podcast that they're listening to. Oh yeah, and it's free. Want to hear how I got to this conclusion? Let's jump into it. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Langwish and I am a current student who is focused on helping you improve your productivity workflow. And if you enjoy watching and learning from productivity videos, make sure you click the like button below and subscribe to the channel to join me on this journey of organization and productivity. And like always, I'll leave any links to things mentioned in this video down in the description below, so make sure you check that out. With that being said, let's jump into our first topic of interface. Now, I've used many different podcast apps and Air is right up there with them with its policy. Look. I do feel that it sometimes has a bit of a cluttered view in some of the menus, but overall the layout of discovery, my air quotes, search, and my library uh, keep things all easily in their own section. While listening to a podcast, they're all the standard features, including being able to listen to a podcast at double speed or even setting an alarm where it'll automatically turn off the podcast after a certain amount of time if you listen to podcasts while you're falling asleep or something like that. While nothing stands out, I really had no issues with the whole interface and layout of Air. Now you may have noticed a big green quote button at the bottom of the podcast play screen. And that leads us into our next category of capturing air quotes. Now this is the magic of air. Whenever you wanna save a quote, you can just press and drag that quote button and you can select the exact audio that you want to clip and save. Now this is great enough, but most podcasts also come with a transcript. So when you're capturing the quote, you're able to see the exact words that you're pulling from it. And for the podcasts that don't automatically come with a transcript, you can actually click request transcript from air and they will get back to you with the transcript for that podcast. And I've never had to wait longer than 30 minutes for that to happen. So that's super cool that they're pretty quick at, with the turnaround of getting you a transcript to your favorite podcast. Now, after capturing a quote, you can jot down a quick note of kind of an overview of what that quote was about. I usually just kind of give a quick little summary. So when I'm going through, I can see what all of my different captured quotes are. And you can also edit the quote, cutting it down to the exact words that you want. Now, this is great and all when you've got your phone out, maybe you're sitting down at home, but what about when you're out and about? Now, this is where the capture feature feature is super intuitive and I've really enjoyed it as I have my Powerbeats headphones and when I'm out, whenever I hear a quote that I wanna capture, rather than having to pull my phone out and you know drag and, and do all that, I'm able to just triple tap on the earbuds and it'll automatically capture the last 45 seconds of audio. Then at the end of the day, I'll go through all of my captured quotes from a podcast I listened to and trim them down to the exact quote that I'm wanting. Now, the only feature that would have made this even better is if they made a great Apple Watch app, you know, a quick way to capture from there, but not yet, maybe in the future. Now the next area of the app is discovering new podcasts. And I actually think that, at least for me, this has been a little bit of a weakness of air. I find the discovery tab to not really be that helpful. It just shows random air quotes from uh, other podcasts. You can see from some of the podcasts that you follow, but it's too bad that they don't have a section where they have some algorithm where they could sense the podcast that you listen to and then suggest podcasts that are similar to that, you know, in your, your field. Also, it's worth noting that not every podcast is on air. They're, uh, I know, working on getting more and more. So right now, you know, all the popular ones are, but if you listen to a podcast that's maybe a little more obscure, then it's possible it might not be on there. Now the last feature and arguably the most game-changing feature for my own personal productivity routine is the way that Air integrates with the app Readwise. Now for those of you who don't know, Readwise is this service that connects to all of your different um, content accounts, you know, Kindle, um, Instapaper, you know, you can capture from websites and it takes all the highlights that you're you're making in all those different areas and brings them into one location. It'll then resurface those highlights to you through each day in an email they send out to you. So it's a great way to constantly be reminded of the highlights that you made 
and be refreshed of the stuff that you learned. But when you connect Air to your Readwise account, then all those Air quotes that you capture in the Air app will get exported into Readwise and be compiled with all your other book and article highlights. And what's even more of a game changer is you all know that I love Notion. Well, Readwise then has a feature where it can automatically export all of your highlights from all those services straight into Notion. So if you're following this chain here, now when I capture something in Air, it automatically goes to Readwise and then Readwise automatically exports it into Notion. And this is amazing for me because I do all of my planning and content creation within Notion. So then I have all of the stuff that I've learned and ideas and just great quotes with all in one table in Notion. I can go through and easily reference all of them. And, and this has just been kind of blowing my mind. I just, it's, it's like I'm building my own, just like, you know, they talk about in the productivity world, a second brain. And that's what it feels like I'm able to just bring all of the things that I want to remember together in one location within Notion. And that's because of Readwise. So the last question is who should use this? Well, if you're someone who listens to a lot of podcasts, and I would say specifically podcasts that are nonfiction, you know, where you're actually trying to learn new information or just stuff that really resonates with you, then this is the perfect podcast for you. This is just one of those ideas that I kind of wonder how I ever lived with it before. You know, I used to always just listen to podcasts and I would love what I'm hearing, but then I would forget about it when I, you know, the next day, because I have no way to remember it. And this app just completely changes that. Plus it's completely free. You don't have to play anything. And I've got a link to it down in the description below, right by that subscribe button. Well, there you have it guys. I hope this was as helpful for you as this app has been for me. It has just been a game changer with podcasts. They're now one of my main areas of taking in information and then turning it into content. I'm starting to listen to even more and more podcasts because I know that now this is one of the best ways for me to learn new information. Now, if you want to hear more about productivity, Notion or something like that, stay until the end and click on one of the linked videos. But that's it for today. Until next time.